Hello beautiful people, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and in today's video I am going to be very nerdy, very geeking out because I am going to be talking about the Red, White, and Royal Blue movie that just released a few weeks ago now. I have already seen it an ungodly amount of times because I have just been hyper fixated on it for the past like since it came out. It is so good and I have so much to say about it. I thought about doing a reaction video to it, but I really was so excited for this movie and I really wanted to take the time and just like enjoy it for myself. Honestly, I'm glad I did it that way because it was so incredible to experience. So I'm just doing like a what were my thoughts on it type video instead. I need you guys to understand how much I love this book. I own not one, not two, but four copies of this book. One of them is in French, which is a language that I don't even speak fluently. I own it in French because Cassandra gave it to me for Christmas one year because it's like my favorite book of all time and also yeah, four copies of this book. So if that doesn't tell you how much I love it, I don't know what does because it's a standalone book. There's no reason for me to own four copies and yet I do. Maybe two. Maybe like the standard and the collector's edition. In the French edition I can maybe get away with because it was a gift. but. Um, no, I own four copies of the book. I own the normal copy, which is like down here on the bottom shelf somewhere. Um, I own the movie cover, which is over here. I own the collector's edition, and I own the, the French edition, so. I really love this book, and I was so excited for this movie. I was also very nervous for this movie, just because I know movie adaptations, obviously, are usually kind of like sketchy on if they're good or not, to put it lightly, but this one I think was done well. Obviously there were some things that they had to cut out from the book for time's sake to condense it all into one movie and get like the main juice of the plot, and I am very sad, like everybody, that they cut out June. This video is going to have spoilers, by the way, if you haven't read either the book or seen all of the movie or, you know, one or the other, then... If you've read the book, then I don't really care about spoiling it because it's basically the same plot. You already know what happens, but anyway, I digress. Spoilers ahead. Be warned. Anyhow, so obviously, yes, yeah, some of the things that they cut out from the book to make room for the movie were a bit saddening. I really, really, really wish that we had gotten the Cornetto scene. I know they filmed it, and I've seen the actual scene, but I wish they'd included it in the movie. I really wish they had included the scene after the Red Room where Henry was singing uh, God Save the Queen to try and make it go away. But some of the things that they did include were top tier. I do wish that the history ha huh, scene, I'm glad they put it in there because obviously it's like critical to the lore of the book, the lore of the book. But I wish that they had like put the context in there a little more. They didn't really like include Henry's love of literature at all and so having it just like you know the whole emails and like the historic queer figures having that be part of it was not really included even though it kind of it, it was iffy I'm glad they put it in there in any scenario though so that was good I really really loved what they did um with B and like this is, I guess, not necessarily like a controversial opinion, but kind of a minor opinion, I guess. I like that they made B Henry's younger sister in the movie instead of his older sister. I know that they didn't talk about any of her like past history with the drug abuse and all of the things that she went through in the book, because obviously the plot was mostly focused on Henry and Alex, and they didn't really talk about any of the other characters' subplots. But I really really enjoyed that she was actually Henry's younger sister because I feel like that makes a lot more sense for the character of Henry too. Like he would be very fiercely protective of his sister and I don't know really how to explain it accurately but it just it feels right that B is his younger sister instead of his older sister. I don't know why but I am happy with that change. I really loved Pez's character even though he only played a minor role. I think it was really well done. I was very happy with it and I liked the little like side romance he had going with Nora. Obviously it's hinted at in the book along with June so props to them for including that. Um, R.I.P. June. Justice. Uh, 
I know a lot of people, me included, were very upset that they didn't really talk about... They never explicitly said that Alex's parents weren't divorced, but because that's such an integral part of his character arc in the book, I wish they would have at least acknowledged it, because even though it didn't say that they were still married, it kind of hinted at that. And I mean... Yay, happy endings, but like that's such an integral part of Alex's character and I just feel like it could have been better acknowledged or even acknowledged at all. And I understand that obviously for movie purposes they had to cut about. I just wish they could have said like, you know, that they were divorced or something. Like it wouldn't have been that hard, but it really like sort of indicated that they were still married and I was just kind of like scratching my head a little bit at that. The Paris scene was top tier. No criticisms. I loved it. It was like one of the most beautifully done scenes in a movie I've ever seen in my entire life. And granted, I don't watch that many movies, but like, I have watched this one so many times at this point because I just cannot get enough. It was so well done. The actors, you can say what you want about their other works, but the actors portrayed the characters so well. They did such a good job capturing all of the little facial details. The little like fidgeting that Henry does, ugh, all of it was just so well executed. And you can say what you want about the movie or the writing itself, but the actors did an incredible job executing the characters they were given. And now I cannot picture Henry and Alex in any other light than these actors. So props to them for doing such a great job on that. I loved it. It was amazing. It was very well done. And I know that Casey McQuinston had a lot to do with the actual like production of the movie. So props to them for sticking up for their book and like making sure that it was an accurate portrayal, even if some things did have to be cut. I overall think that it's really hard to do a book justice in a movie. And I definitely do agree that it could have been better served as a mini series, just like a one season TV show. But I understand kind of why they did it as a movie, I guess. And I think that working with the time constraints of a movie, they did it really well. They executed it really well. The storyline wasn't changed in any like major, major way. They just had to cut out some of the side plots. But they got all the important parts across for the Henry and Alex story, which is obviously the main point and why like people came to see the movie. So that makes sense. And I am happy with it for what it was. Do I wish that it could have been different? Do I wish that they could have included more? Do I wish that June had been in it? Yeah, absolutely. The actors were really passionate, it seemed like, about portraying these characters accurately. If you can hear my roommate vacuuming outside, I am so sorry. Please ignore that. But they had just such a passion for portraying these characters accurately and it really like stuck in my heart because this book means a lot to me and to other people obviously and to see it done in such a good way was really heartwarming and it made me super happy as you know just to see that kind of visibility that I know a lot of people didn't get to grow up with and that it highlighted how Alex came from a Hispanic background the visibility for that was I'm sure it means a lot obviously I can't relate because I'm you know, not Hispanic, <laughs> but um, I'm sure that it does mean a lot to people of that background and of other racial backgrounds that don't often see that struggle highlighted in media. So I'm not going to speak on that because obviously that's not my issue to speak about, but I feel like that was important as well. And then one of the other changes that they made that I really thought was clever and done well instead of having the email leaks go through like Raphael and actually from the Republican candidate Richards but like pretending that it was you know the whole like Raphael sub subplot I, I understand why they had to cut that out because to like go in depth and explain that whole thing it would have probably taken like a whole hour in and of itself so I think that a shunted ex-lover like, who was jealous of Henry and Alex, obviously, I and mean, like, he had the access to the media so he could leak the emails. It really made sense, and I thought it was a really clever way to sort of condense that plot point, but still put it in there, because obviously that's the major conflict of the whole book, is their emails getting leaked, and, you know, they get outed, which is bad. So, 
I really thought that that was well done and also having Alex have that excuse to speak Spanish I'm not gonna complain about that either like when he said buenos noches cabron you had me at buenos Alex speaking Spanish and Alex by Alex I mean Taylor Zakar Perez speaking Spanish I loved that. I very much appreciated that. When they were in Paris having breakfast and he said Alexander Gabriel Clermont Diaz was a mouthful. Yeah. Yeah. I replayed that scene a lot just to hear him say Gabriel. Haha, <laughs> sorry, my camera just died, so I had to take a brief intermission, which is why I am now wearing pants and my hair is dry. But I'm back, I'm here to wrap up the video. <laughs> so that is all of my thoughts. It condensed anyways as best as possible of the red white and royal blue movie I would love to know you guys' thoughts if you have seen the movie down below in the comments so please feel free to let me know about that if you did enjoy the video it would be really cool if you could like the video because it's easy comment because it makes me smile subscribe for more content just like this and I will see you all in the next one bye guys